to plane passengers, but cops had better idea. After seeing what was just feet away, a woman aboard a Southwest Airlines flight began to make a few outrageous demands. Unfortunately for her, it wasn't long before things took a turn for the worse as police officers had to respond, and they had the perfect reply. Their idea was much better than hers, and the best part is that it was all caught on video for the world to enjoy. According to Blue Lives Matter, the incident took place aboard a Southwest flight from Baltimore to Los Angeles, occurring before the plane got off the ground, fortunately. As it turns out, 46-year-old Daniel Adolate Sai from Baltimore, who also happens to be a practicing Muslim and a professor of women's studies and Islamic studies at Harvard, according to reports, was on the aircraft at the time and began to make a few entitled demands. Come to find out, the woman noticed that a therapy dog was aboard the flight and said that the passenger who brought it must immediately be kicked off the flight. Of course, the police were quickly called to the scene to respond to the disturbance, but things only got worse from there. Devout Muslims absolutely hate dogs because of their religious beliefs. As outlined in a hadith within the religion's holy texts, Muslims are basically banned from being anywhere near a dog. Once Gabriel promised the Prophet, that he would visit him, but Gabriel did not come, and later on he said, We, angels, do not enter a house which contains a picture or a dog. Sahih Bukhari 4.54.50, Source New English Review. Knowing that she wouldn't just be able to get a person kicked off the flight, Dolly Tsai made the wild claim that she was deathly allergic to dogs. Of course, when police asked her for documentation from a doctor saying this was the truth, she could offer no such proof. Beyond that, her own actions seemed to contradict this. If she really was deathly allergic to the animal, she would have done everything in her power to get away from it, including getting off the plane. Instead, Dolly Tsai merely demanded that the dog and its owner be removed from the flight instead. Too bad for her, that wasn't about to happen because the police had a better idea and, seeing how she was the one causing the disturbance, and they slapped her with the perfect reply. In all, they told the entitled Muslim woman that she was being kicked off the flight instead. As we've seen time and time again. The pathetic brat refused to the point that police had to physically drag her off the flight. Although police didn't want to do that, this is what Dalit Sai forced them to do by failing to comply with their orders. Clearly heard in the video, fellow passengers were initially outraged with the officer's response, but that all quickly changed. In fact, they started by screaming at police to let her walk off the plane and saying that she's walking. But after seeing Dal Sai being given several chances only to fail to comply, they turned their frustration on the Muslim woman saying, Geez lady, get off the plane. Of course, the liberal media is trying to make this out to be a bigger deal than it is, calling it police brutality, but it was no such thing. In the end, this entitled brat made a demand that she had no right to make and was physically removed because she wouldn't leave on her own. The liberal mentality is taking a toll on society as everyone seems to view themselves as a victim. However, the exact opposite was done here as this Muslim woman was actually in the wrong by trying to discriminate against a disabled person, thinking that her religion had precedence over the other passenger's physical or mental condition. Making matters worse, the mainstream media want you to feel bad for this woman when she was the one in the wrong. Don't like something? Ask to change it, but don't get mad when you don't get your way. Furthermore, listen to police officers at all times. If you have a problem, take it up with their superiors or the courts later if you feel that you were wronged. Public meltdowns like this don't do anyone any favors, and in the end, everyone watching will think the police are utterly justified while giving you the proverbial spankings that your parents should have all those years ago. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. Comments.